house-to-house -house salesman symbolizes in a way the function of all salesmen, which is to bring goods or services to the attention of the consumer and to help the consumer buy. The good salesman helps the buyer. The measure of his success is not how many sales he makes, but how many customers he satisfies. Such salesmen are serving throughout the whole of our economy. From the mill, salesmen sell steel and other materials to manufacturers. Salesmen form the link between manufacturer and wholesaler. Salesmen bring the products of the wholesaler to the retail merchant. The retail merchant is also a salesman, helping the consumer buy. So, from manufacturer to ultimate consumer, the main links in our economic system are the salesman. And for many young men and women, selling is a career to consider as a vocation. There are many types of selling careers from that of a retail store sales clerk to that of a television salesman. There are careers in selling by telephone and careers in writing sales letters. To consider selling as a career, let's study some aspects of the life of one salesman, Art Williams. After the children have been sent to bed, Williams has work to do. For you see, the successful salesman does more than make sales. At the end of each day, he must complete his orders and mail them. He must make out reports of the day's calls on customers and prospects. He keeps records, a file of information about each customer, his needs, likes, and dislikes, records that make future sales possible. Later, when today's reports and records have been completed, there is more routine work, looking forward to tomorrow. morning visit to Majors in his own city. Afternoon calls on two stores in town some distance away. Now the record. What about Majors? Last purchase was four dozen ski boots. A fairly new account needs careful handling. A thriving sporting goods store, gradually building a wide trade. Maybe they'll be interested in the new line of ski boots. An important account, worth all morning, even if the sale isn't big this time, because future sales should be large. Next, Samson Sports Center, a steady, long-term customer. Good for a repeat order in every line. No problem there. Finally, if there is time tomorrow, call on Wilson Stam, a brand new prospect. They've never handled ski boots before, but the store seems to be doing a good business. Don't try to make a sale there, just get acquainted. In time, they may want help. The successful salesman knows his product, its strengths and weaknesses, its appeal to the customer. He knows what the manufacturer has to say about it, how far he guarantees it. The salesman must be sold on his product in order to sell it to others. When you consider selling as a vocation, think of yourself doing this sort of homework. In the morning, what must Art Williams, the salesman, do? He sizes up his customer further his eyes are alert to indications of the customer's needs. Inside, face to face with his customer, the salesman is warm and friendly. Perhaps he has a compliment to make about the store, and he means it. Then, he presents his product, 
to show how it meets the customer's needs. Mr. Majors, I'd like you to look at two boots. This is a handcrafted twist boot. And uh, here is a sample of our new Ski Master line. Well, I'll be. So this is the Ski Master. Yes, it's hard to tell them apart, isn't it? Sure is. And the Ski Master sells in your lower price range. Yet it has double lacing, built-in ankle support, full double lining. Helping the customer buy helping him to know the product, helping him see sales features that he, in turn, can use to sell the boots. That's part of selling. How well could you do it? But selling is even more. Well, will we get complaints on them like we do on the ski juniors? You know, you fellas ought to learn how to waterproof boots. Yes, the salesman hears objections and complaints. He must meet them squarely and handle them well. They provide clues to the customer's needs and opportunities for service. You have trouble with leaking boots, huh? That's right. Well, why don't you send them back? Just drop me a note. You know, our company will replace the boots if the trouble is due to materials or workmanship. You shouldn't have any trouble with these, though. The double construction of the Ski Master is designed to uh, do you mind if I use your drinking water? Go ahead. Look, I've been studying the purchase records on the Ski Junior line, and I've worked out this size run for your first order of Ski Masters. Now, I want you to look it over carefully, Mr. Majors. I want you to take all the time in the world. If this boot has leaked one drop before you're through, we can tear up the order and forget about it. Dramatization may be an answer to a question for some customers. Will it work with Mr. Majors? Getting to be a good judge of people, that's basic to salesmanship. How good a judge of people are you? For selling is working with people. It's helping them make decisions good decisions, helping them buy. That's selling. So much for the first call, a successful call, an order and an improved relationship with a customer. Now for a drive to another town many miles away and a call on another type of customer. Here, selling is largely the job of checking stock finding what the store has on hand, what it needs more of, and making out a reorder. Long years of trust and fair dealing have built this relationship. To Williams, this store is a customer. The manager, a friend whom he serves honestly and well. Later the same day, Williams makes his third call on a new prospect, a total stranger. How will they get along? What interests and needs can Williams learn about? He isn't trying to sell anything today. This stop is just to get acquainted. That night finds Williams away from home, doing book work again, completing orders, making reports, keeping records. Thus ends a day in this salesman's life. How attractive does this life seem to you? As you begin to plan your future, give serious consideration to the various careers of selling. Much more can be learned through guidance assistance in your school, through talks with your counselor. Part-time selling jobs are a good chance to find out more about the vocation of selling. Talks with salesmen you know will give you more ideas about careers in selling. Investigate. Think. What about selling as a career for you?